Hi, I'm Ben Messenger for Waste Management World. We're at the RWM show in Birmingham. I'm with Rolf Steen on the Advanced Plasma Power Stand. Rolf, I believe you've been doing some work on landfill mining. Can you tell us about that? Sure, we, um, we're developing a project with Belgian waste management uh, firm Group McKeels uh, in, uh, near Limburg in Flanders, uh, involving the, uh, a 16 million ton landfill site that's been in operation for around 50 years. Uh, to uh, return that site to, uh, to nature and recover materials uh, from, from the landfill uh, waste and, and energy uh, from the, uh, the residue post-recycling. I know there's been a lot of talk about um, when landfill mining will become economically feasible. Is that a point we're approaching at the moment? It's, um, you know, the, the, the importance obviously is that uh, you've, you have to compensate in terms of your business case and economic model for the absence of a gate fee. So critically, uh, really you need to maximise the efficiency um, of both the recovery of, of, of the materials, so the front end of the process, uh, to gain maximum value from recycling those materials, uh, but also then from the, from the residue uh, in terms of the energy content, maximise what you get out of, uh, out of that in terms of electrical energy uh, and heat. Uh, so that particular scheme uh, will involve the export of heat uh, for uh, use in a horticultural development to grow vegetables. So that, that, um, you know, that's critically important, uh, you know, CHP, but also maximum uh, electrical energy output. So in terms of viability, that, that project, that business case, uh, you know, obviously stacks, otherwise we wouldn't be, be pursuing it. Uh, it's a fundable proposition. Uh, and uh, you know, I would like to think that, uh, that, that, that as we move forward, that this ca can become a reality in the UK as well, that, that as efficiency improves um, on, on thermal technologies, then, then uh, we can actually get to a position where um, you know, we can mine landfill sites in the UK as well. What would be the sort of regulatory stumbling blocks along the way before that could happen? Uh, you know, it is obviously a, 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 you know, a world first. Uh, it's not been done before. Um, more specifically, it's a, a first in Belgium as well. And uh, uh, you know, there, are, there is a degree of having to sort of rewrite the rule book in terms of, uh, of, of regulatory standards that are applied, uh, actually in particular to the, the mining operation rather than the thermal operation. The thermal operation is relatively um, you know, relatively standard in terms of the, the permitting process. We've, uh, we've, we've uh, done extensive um, testing on the material from, from the site at our plant in Swindon. Uh, that's you know, validated the, the economic proposition, the business case, but also um, from an emissions point of view, we know that uh, we are you know, compliant with the, the, the Belgian implementation of the IED. And, uh, uh, but but it's the, yeah, it is the, the, the front end of the process that's, you know, it's never been done before. So standards have to be uh, invented, created, uh, and then obviously enforced uh, in relation to that particular aspect of the project. That, that is where it, it currently is. It's in, it's in with the, uh, the authorities on the planning and the permitting side. Rolf, it's been a fascinating look at your project. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Ben.